This is the Mini 3 Pro, and these are five creative transitions you can do with your drone. Let's go. So I've just come down to this location early in the morning and you can see the conditions are absolutely perfect. So let's get the drone up and start filming our first shot. Okay, so this first one is the speed ramping effect and it's really simple to do. All you have to do is basically just fly your drone in a straight line as far as you can, then just go to the next spot and do the exact same thing. You can then do this in any video editor, import your footage and drop the first clip in the timeline, find the section that you want to keep and then add a speed ramp to the last part. If you hit U on the keyboard, you can adjust the keyframes and even go into the graph editor to adjust the timing and make it look really nice. Do the same thing to the beginning of the second clip and just overlay them over the top of each other with a fade. And there you go, you have the finished transition. So this is also another super popular transition where you fly backwards through an opening and then you transition to another shot. Find an opening that you can fly your drone through for the first clip and then this can be basically of anything. The better the two clips match, the better this transition looks. In the computer, you can reverse the shot if you need to and then create a mask around the opening using the pen tool. Then create keyframes to keep it in place. Then you can drop your second shot in underneath and start the camera on that shot. As the camera pulls back, you essentially reveal that first location and it looks really good. Now, before we move on, I want to tell you about today's sponsor, Invato Elements. Invato Elements is a one-stop shop for all your creative and asset needs. Now, the best part about Invato is they have an unlimited download subscription service. They have a huge database of stock videos, including lots of drone video as well. So if you're looking to download a whole bunch of video files or graphics or assets for your next video, then you definitely want to check out Invato Elements. Now, if you use my special link down in the description below, that's going to give you 50% off an annual subscription. And they're also running a seven day free trial in selected countries. You can learn more by clicking that link down below and check it out for yourself. Now for this one, you wanna start by drawing a box around the person on the screen or the object that you wanna go around. Then you want to try and keep the same distance and the same angle and height. Then you can repeat this in the second location by trying to match the speed and the direction as before. Now drop them both in the timeline and create and repeat exactly like we did in the first part with the speed ramp between them. Simply add a fade transition or draw a mask if you want a more creative dramatic effect. So for this one, you wanna fly as low as you can and as fast as you can along the rocks. For the first one, you wanna fly low with the camera pointing forward, then slowly pan the camera down at the end of the shot. The rocks or the ground should fully fill the camera screen. Then in your second location, start with the camera pointing down and then slowly tilt the camera up to reveal your location. In the computer, I drop the two clips on top of each other and at the transition, I add a slow fade or a mask effect. Then when I blend the two shots together, I get my final finished effect. So I've just literally just come down to a new location just down here. This was actually another place that I filmed my Travel Effects Pro course at. The thing I love about these locations is if you come down early, no one's around. There's pretty much no one here. It's probably about seven o'clock in the morning and the sun's just at that you know beautiful lighting at these locations. So it just makes like drone photography and getting these sort of shots just absolutely perfect. Now for this particular effect, I did a dedicated tutorial already on this. So you can check that out in the link in the description below. But basically you need two overhead shots in two different locations. Then in After Effects, I'm going to add some ink drop mats over the footage and create a luma mat of the layer underneath to create a reveal. Now you can also find ink mats by searching for them online. There are free ones. But if you want high quality ones, then you will have to source paid ones. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you got something out of this video. Now also I have some other drone videos coming and if they're already out, then you can check them out via the link in the description below. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You can check out more videos just like this over on the side of screen. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.